again and welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. A uh, little project I've got on today is uh, a rear wheel of a motorcycle. Uh, the bearing has gone really, really slack. In fact, it rattles around inside it at the moment. So I'm going to have to set, well, I have actually set it up on the milling machine already. Uh, I'll, show, I'll, you know, I'll show you that immediately after this when we go into the next frame. Um, I've got to bore it out basically and put a sleeve in so we can then refit the bearing. So I've set this thing up now so that it's nice and true in the center of the, of the hub uh, and I'll bore this out uh, accordingly. So watch me as we go on with this one. Here you can see I've uh, set the wheel on, on the milling machine, uh, clamped it down so it's nice and firm. Um, you can see the bearing sitting next to it, next to where I'm boring. It's only there just as a reference and somewhere to put it really, uh, so it doesn't get lost. Um, I've speeded this video up a little just to um, just to help it go through a bit more. Obviously you can't use the boring head um, running as fast as that normally, um, but uh, it's, it's boring through quite nicely actually. So uh, I'm just taking this out just to get a rough idea on size. Um, we're getting closer and closer. I've got the depth set so that uh, it switches off when it gets to to the depth. Uh, well, basically the depth, which is the width of the bearing itself, uh, which, as I remember, if I remember rightly, is uh, about 14 millimeter. So uh, that's boring in quite nicely. Uh, you'll see the end of process as it moves on. Now we have a, a bit, a bit more of a close-up uh, to watch this bearing, uh, well, the bearing housing being bored out. Uh, again, I've speeded it up slightly. You can see, obviously, the cut is going down. I'm not taking too heavy a cut. It's only aluminium. Um, I could take a heavier cut, but uh, I don't really need to. I'm just trying to keep it nice and smooth. Uh, keep a nice, uh, decent finish on it. Um, it's coming down quite nicely into the depth that I need, so uh, that'll, that'll be, uh, be quite good in the end, I think. It's, I'll just blow the swarf away uh, as much as possible. It's difficult to get it because a lot of the swarf goes down inside the hub, uh, which obviously I'll need to fish out later on. Here I am just taking the final cut now, I think. Uh, it's getting very, very close to the size I want. Um, I, earlier on, I did mention that I was taking this down to the width of the bearing. I'm actually not. I'm taking it in about 20 millimeter, basically so that the cup that I make, uh, or the bush that I make uh, to fit in there, uh, will be like a cup uh, shape. So that will then sit down inside. Uh, that will take the bearing inside the cup. But um, you'll see that a bit later on in the process. In the meantime, uh, I'm just taking this down, more or less a, a finishing uh, cut. Um, we'll get down, uh, then you know we'll see how this goes. Uh, it seems to be cutting quite nicely actually, and I'm getting quite a nice finish. Uh, there's one thing about my old beaver milling machine, uh, it might be getting on in years a bit, but um, it still works pretty, pretty good. It's a uh, it's fairly accurate machine, actually. Here you can see I'm using a telescopic bore gauge. Uh, these things expand out to the diameter, you just lock them in place. And then you could put a micrometer on it. Uh, just to check the, to make sure you've got the diameter correct. So this one doesn't seem too bad actually. I uh, can't really show you the, the size, but we've got a thumbs up on that. Now I start the operation of uh, machining the, the, the cup or bush um, to take the bearing, which will obviously go, get inset into the wheel. I'm just putting a drill through here just to open up the, the hole, uh, ready to start boring. I'll increase the size of this drill a little bit once I, once I get in more or less to the depth I need uh, to start machining this. But uh, this is, the drill is just a, a beginning, just to get things started.
Here you can see I'm boring this out now to the correct diameter. Um, as it turns out, this, uh, this, this steel one, actually, I went a little bit oversized. So the bearing was a bit, would have been a bit slack. So uh, I'm just showing you this because uh, this is how the procedure went before I changed to an aluminium one. So here we see the finished aluminium unit, uh, 20 mil uh, outside size uh, for the uh, depth, which is the depth on of the, the bore I, I put on the wheel. And the inside depth of the cup is 14 millimeter to take the bearing. So when this fit, this should fit nice and snug into the wheel with some Loctite uh, literally, basically repairing the wheel itself. So, uh, yeah, that, uh, that doesn't look too bad. As you can see, it's not, uh, not too bad at all. So here I am uh, back on the wheel itself. Uh, I'll just line this cup up. Uh, I've put a drift on top of the, the cup itself. And I'm using the the uh, the quill on the win on the milling machine to push this in nice and square. So uh, as the quill is already centered on the wheel, it's uh, it's nicely lined up. Well, there we are. That's the wheel done. Uh, nicely bored out. And the bush is in there. Oh, sorry, it's a bit difficult to hold. But uh, there's the bearing. That will press in there. The customer's going to do that himself because he's got a spacer that goes inside here and obviously it won't go in with the bit if the bearing's in there. So that's the job complete. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I had to change the material in the end. Halfway through the job I, I changed from, steel, from a steel bush to an aluminium bush. Um, not for any particular reason apart from the fact that I went slightly oversized on the bore. So I had to start again. So I changed my mind and went to aluminium. Um, job done. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and look out for me in the next video. Goodbye.